The Costco Citibank Visa is a huge deal. It is uh, such a common card for Costco members to have because it's free with the membership and the benefits are really great because you get 4% cash back on gasoline. By the way, Sam's Club members, with the Sam's Club MasterCard, you get 5% cash back on gas. Anyway, and the Costco Visa, you get 3% cash back on travel, 3% cash back on restaurants, 2% cash back for shopping at Costco or Costco.com. Never use it anywhere else because you only get 1% cash back, anything out of those areas. But Costco, when they moved from American Express to City, City offered a whole bunch of other throw-in benefits as well. And one of them already died, and that was trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance. And now, City is pulling the rug out from under something that was a big benefit of buying electronics and other things that have manufacturer's warranties that are significant on things that are expensive, you got an extension of that warranty by using the Costco Visa automatically. And it was a great, great benefit for people. And now City is yanking that away from you a month from today. So does it mean the Citibank Visa card with Costco is now trash, not cash back. No, you still have all the cash back. But there are circumstances you should not use it now. If you were taking a trip that you booked, let's say with Costco Travel, and you're going to get the uh, 3% cash back on the Costco Citibank Visa, you got to get money back, particularly if you're an executive member, you're doing expensive travel, got to be executive member anyway, because you got money back from that too. But what I'm suggesting you do is if you're a regular traveler, you probably have other travel reward cards. I've got one from Capital One that comes with free trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance. And I got 2% back for everything I purchase anywhere. So I am using it now when I buy Costco travel instead of using the Costco Visa card because then if I have to buy, let's say I'm doing a cruise, and for cruises you want to have trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance because you don't go on the cruise, you lose all your money. Well, now you have to pay real money usually somewhere around 6% of the cost of the trip to buy a trip cancellation, trip interruption policy separate. But on the other hand, if you use a card like I'm doing with the Capital One card, you're getting the trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance. I'm getting 2% back instead of 3% as I would with the Costco Visa. So I'm giving up 1% to save 6% on the cost of the trip not using the Costco Visa anymore, using the Capital One card. And again, there are many cards that come with trip cancellation, trip interruption insurance. Now let's move to the second thing. The latest thing cities yanking out from under us is the extension of the warranty. Lots of cards come with that in return for using that card shopping. But to shop with at Costco, you have to use a Visa card can be any Visa card. So you have to have a Visa card that comes with an automatic extension of the manufacturer's warranty, and you're buying something expensive, then that is something you should consider if the card you're using also comes with some form of cash back. So what do we use now when we shop at Costco? We use a 2% cash back card. That's 2% cash back anywhere we go that comes with an extension of the manufacturer's warranty. As you know, I don't buy extensions of warranties. Don't do it. I don't do it on anything I buy. But having it thrown in for free, well, that is 
a wonderful added attraction and benefit. As for Citibank, why they are reducing so many benefits, a lot of people in the financial industry believe that Citibank overpaid to buy out American Express on the Costco business and that they are trying, they're like the dog that caught the car and doesn't know what to do with it. And that's just speculation, but probably why Citi keeps reducing the ancillary benefits that come with the Costco visa.